So guys, I'm back with another C++ 17 feature and this is initializer can reside in if else or switch case conditions. So what I mean is if you have some variable and you want to check if that variable is greater than something, then only you want to do that. Meaning let's suppose you have integer x is equal to, let's say we have this min function and I call this five with some five and maybe 10. And I just write here if and tell x is equal to equal to five, then only you do this job. Okay. This is my job. So this is pretty handy, right? I mean, this is what we've been doing since ages, but now in C++ 17, they saw that this is a problem because let's suppose this is very big file or function. Then in that X, you cannot use again. And if you have so many conditions like this, you have to do like X1, X2 and all that. And that may kill the readability or it would look little ugly. But now do we have any better solution? Yes, we have. What is that? Let's see that. So I can write this piece of code like this. If integer x equal to min five comma 10, and then notice this here, I'm giving this semicolon and then say, if x is equal to equal to five, then you do my job. This is your job. So this is now converted into this and the scope of this x variable is inside if and you can just write again same if for x i mean integer x and you can use this x again so you don't have to put x1 x2 or if this x is some meaningful name to you then you can keep that meaningful name throughout this function or throughout the function scope without changing it so notice this syntax syntax is like this this is initializer position and then we have this semicolon here and this this condition check. So this is the new syntax of if you can say, and this is applicable to switch case also. Let me give you a quick demo on this. So let's see this. We have this similar looking function integer x is equal to min five and 10 out of this, which one is minimum. And if x is equal to equal to five, in this case, it will be true because we will have five as minimum. And don't think that this is really very trivial or silly example. Always this five out of 10, five is the minimum. What my point is, this is variable. Okay. You don't know this obviously. Okay. So this might return anything and depending on what it is returning, you want to equate whatever the return value is then then take the action. So this is about that. Just don't think that it's some silly stuff. It's really very beneficial. So let me compile this. Yeah, it compiles successfully. And then if I comp run this, see so it is printing job. So meaning this syntax is really very valid syntax and I can still use or if I want to print this X here, then you will see uh, a compilation error. See, we have error. It is saying that this X is not declared or defined. Okay. So this X is looking for this one, but this is actually local to this if only. So that's the best part. C++ is doing really very crazy stuff, right? I know, I know. So if you didn't know this and like this point, don't forget to hit the like button guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next videos. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see videos like this. Take care.